And welcome back. It's looking like it's about daytime now, or just coming up on daylight. So we are gonna go get our Seamoth back, guys. Oh, I can't believe that guy got us. Oh well, cannot win them all. But we figured out that on the far side of the Aurora, there's some sweet stuff over there. The troublesome part is it looks like we're going to have a depth limitation for the Seamoth. And I'm certain that we can upgrade our Seamoth, allowing us to go to greater depths. But right now we're kind of kind of stuck to above 200 meters. Okay, I'm a little scared because there was that, that big monster over here when we were swimming around the rear of the Aurora. Might be good to swim around the front side of it. But I don't think so. I mean, we didn't even make it that far around the Aurora. So we're just going to go. Yeah, we're just going to go straight on back and hope that we dodge danger. And we're going to we're going to play it safe here, guys. We're going to save it right here. Even if we die, it doesn't matter. It's just a short swim from here. But I'd prefer not to have to. We're not going to die. <clears throat> All right. Through the kelp jungle. We're good there. We're going to go ahead and actually bring out our stasis rifle. So that if we do come across anything, let's see, we're at 60% charge on this guy. So if we do come across anything, hopefully we'll be able to at least get a shot off to help us get away from whatever's attacking us. And thankfully, it doesn't appear that we lose any of our tools on death. Well, we need to get... Some oxygen here. Refill our O2 tanks. And there we go. All right. Let's keep on cruising. Keep on going, folks. What kind of dangers are we going to find in here? And will we be able to evade them? Or will we become the next snack? Find out right now with noise shark all right so coming up to shallows here with some horrible sounding creatures all right what do we got here Nothing in that supply crate. All right. There's a scannable fragment over here. What do we got here? Seamoth fragment. We don't, we don't, we don't care about the Seamoth fragment. We got here another Seamoth fragment. Okay, we got bad news over there. And we got, oh, I see what it is. That, I believe, is the dreaded reaper fish. And I do believe he wants to eat us. We 
get him? Nope. Go, go, go. We got him stunned. Just keep him locked. Keep him locked. Go, 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 go. Oh, and we need to get some oxygen too. All right, stay on target. Is he following us? Did he learn his lesson? Pretty sure he is gonna keep. Okay, let's refill our oxygen because I think we're gonna have a little bit of trouble getting down to that level. Okay, so we're 135, let's go, 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 go. I wish we had a distance meter on this guy right here too. Oh boy, oh boy, we may have some trouble getting there. I don't think we're quite far enough to make the sub the uh, the dive, the submersion just yet. I feel like we may be on the other side of this ridge right here. Boy, we're getting low on food too. Just stay on target, guys. Stay on target. Unfortunately, I don't believe there's anything that we can... Ooh. I believe we are under the Aurora, folks. Oh my gosh, are we gonna... Drown before we even get there? 54 seconds. Can we do it? We got this. We got this, folks. It's just right around the corner here. 48 seconds. Come on, buddy. Come on. Go, go, go. Nope, we would not make that. We're going to try and surface. We're going to see if we can get up for the oxygen here. Maybe we're just close enough to the other side. 30 seconds, Warning. 31 30 meters. Seconds of oxygen remaining. Come on, buddy. Come on. You can do this. Do not drown out here. Look at that, guys. We made it. We made it back to the surface on the far side of the Aurora. Awesome. So now we just need to get our bearings here. So where is the boat? There it is. All right, so we're gonna go from here and straight down. We're gonna swim as fast as we can. I'm pretty sure we can get down there. I, I do wish they had a depth meter on that, but can't win them all. There she is. Ain't she a beauty? Sight for sore eyes. And hopefully, we will actually have enough oxygen to get down to the depth that she's at. All right. Down we go. We're almost there. We've almost got her back. Caution. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh my goodness gracious, folks. We got the Seamoth back. Again, just as we got the Seamoth, we almost lost it immediately. What a crazy, crazy turn of events that was. 
We're going to go ahead and make a, a last pass around the Aurora here. See what we can find. Hopefully, we'll be able to find some more fragments here for the... Uh, not the Colossus. The, um, whatchamacallit? Cyclops. That's what we're looking at. Alright, so we've got that. This also looks like a Cyclops hull fragment. So we're good on the hull fragments. That's awesome. And what do we got over here? What? Ah. Uh, get us some fish here because we are getting pretty low we might have to eat a raw fish i know that's kind of gross but we expended a lot of a lot of calories getting out to this point oh there's a landmass behind the aurora too that's pretty cool oh but there's another reaper over here and I'm pretty sure those guys can outswim me. Okay, we're just gonna sidle on up in here. All right, where are you going? Wow, it got dark fast over here. Not a fan of that, ladies and gentlemen. It is pitch black on the far side of the Aurora. And there are lots of things that seem to want nothing more than to just eat us and call it a day. I want to go home. I want to get back to the safety of Aqualandia. <laughs> Back to the safety of our little home under the sea. And I'd also like to see if those those fragments that we've been finding for... Whoa! No, 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 no. There's nobody here, buddy. Don't worry. We're just, we're just going around. Wow, that was, that was an adventure, for sure. And look at that, it's still daylight on this side of the Aurora. That's really cool, that depending on where you're at and where the, the sun cycle is, you will actually experience uh, early nights if you're not careful. So we're going to go ahead and head on back and maybe see if there's anything that we can snag up along the way back now that we've updated we haven't checked all of this is that is that what i think it is that is our highly sought after lithium awesome that's a good score right there that makes this whole trip worthwhile and there's another one right there oh man we need to eat some some raw fish and some sweaty water. Oh, jeez, right into the wall again. Okay, what else do we have around here? One more, and do we have two more? We have two more. Nighttime approaches. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Something growled at me, and that was... <laughs> I've got my headphones on loud, folks. That was... That was enough to send a shiver down my spine, and, uh... Definitely let me know I'm not supposed to be here anymore. Oh. Except for there's... Except for the fact that there's supply boxes, and we're going for it.
I did it again, guys. I am having so much trouble figuring out where the heck I parked my boat. There it is. God, that really gets me. All right, so there's one more supply crate over here. We're going to do this simple like. There's no way I can lose where I put it now. All right, some disinfected water. That's handy. Got anything over here, maybe? Inside of this? I really want to find one of these floodlights that were added in... No, 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 what are you doing? I want that battery. I'll pick up some salvaged metal. There's no reason why we should go back with an empty spot in our inventory. And if that means we're taking back more titanium, then so be it. All right, we're going to take a look in here as well. What do we got in here? Is this anything? Supply crate. Oh, whoa. Where did we just go there? All right, another power cell. That is awesome. We can always use more power cells. And... Oh, two power cells. Fantastic. Oh, I love that. So what started out as a very near catastrophe with the being eaten and the death and the dying has turned into we found some more lithium we've gotten some water we've gotten two power cells and a battery out of this as well as a bunch of scanned fragments towards the cyclops i'm not sure if that means that it's going to maybe reduce the cost or something what are you scrap metal you look like just scrap metal but that uh, inventory is full So yeah, I'm not sure if that reduces the cost of building it or uh, just allows us to. Because it was already on the context menu. So that leads me to believe that we could already create it. Okay, let's not get stuck on the land again. We've also got the... Oh! A handful of these Cyclops fragments. Oh man, these little structures right here seem to be hot spots for finding supplies and resources. Oh. So we're gonna just carefully make our way inside. Oh. Also very useful, first aid kit. And another battery. Some salt hiding under there. Caution, blood nutrient levels decreasing. Calorie oh, I know lady. I know lady. We'll make our way back pretty pretty quick here some water I'm gonna drink up one of our waters oh, another first aid kit fantastic oh I have a guest star with me here on the back of my chair everybody this is Kiba Kiba this is the internet oh we definitely are taking that with us all right. If you will excuse me one moment, folks. Kiba. Kiba, we're on the internet right now. We're making movies. Yeah. Yes, we are. You're not supposed to be up here. Okay. Come on. Down you go. All right. Thank you very much for your patience. It's the joys of having cats. 
They don't care what you're doing. They want their... Oh, oh, we are taking power cell over sweaty water any day. All right. And this isn't like scannable fragments or anything. No, no. Oh, this is killer. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, we have got to get... Oh, my goodness. It's stuff everywhere over here. What do we got here? Seamoth fragment. Um, what are you? Seamoth fragment. I think these are all going to be Seamoth fragments over here. Come on. What are you? Seamoth fragment. Yep. Oh, you're one of the ones that I can't, can't pick up. Darn it. <clears throat> all right. Let's get back to the old homestead here. We've got a lot of valuable stuff on us that I do not want to uh, get eaten and die and lose everything. Oh, or run into a wall and die and lose everything. We're going to take this back. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. What do I do? What do I do? I am really not sure what to do here. Holy shit. Just go, 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 go. Whoo! <laughs> so, yes, they can swim faster than us. Yes, they strike from behind. And my heart is going a thousand miles an hour. I should probably turn the volume down on this game when I'm playing it. Is that more lithium? No, that is some fish. Oh man, he was a... What a dick. Banging up our seamoth. We just, we just built this. Starvation imminent. Seek calorie intake immediately. I'm going lady, I'm going. Okay, we don't want to beat ourselves again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Holy smokes. Uh, okay, we just need to empty some stuff out anywhere. Any old where will do. Just get it out, get it out, get it out, get it out. Okay. We need to grab some food. And... Okay. We need one, two of these guys. Cook this guys up. Awesome. Folks, we're going to wrap this episode up here. Thank you so much for joining us. If you enjoyed this episode of Subnautica, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we hope to see you in the next episode, and you folks have a good one.